Hello, this is, is the end of sprint two. So let's go over what we have for the bus schedule program. So right now we have like a map tab that, that, will, that, that can show users is a map of what of like the routes looks like on Polytechnic campus. This, uh, we can add more functionality to this later, but this is a pretty good prototype of what, what the user may want to plan for bus routes. Okay, and uh, this is what I worked on. And um, so the functionality that the bus scheduler needs is something to look at all the data. So it's gonna be all the bus driver information, routes information and other stuff. So that's gonna go in this data explorer panel. And then the other functionality it needs is to select a bus, change the routes that it's assigned to. So making those actual changes can actually go in the uh, bus scheduler. And the daily schedule panel is going to show kind of the day, kind of hour by hour, um, just so you see when each schedule or bus is scheduled. And uh, so this is the UI layout. And um, so next we're gonna be working on integrating it with the uh, backend that we developed. And uh, that is uh, where I spent my time working is on creating the classes, uh, some of them that will be necessary for the back end. I created a bus class, driver class, and node class. Um, we decided um, to use traditional latitude and longitude. I know there's a number of formats. Um, well, I won't get into the nitty gritty of it, but it, it's the, the back end tools and classes that will make this um, UI uh, functional in the ways that we have just described. Furthermore, I created tests for these classes. Um, one hiccup is that I uh, have been unable at this time to configure build.gradle in such a way as to um, successfully run the tests but the tests for these classes have been created. And Alvin also created a number of, of tests as well. Jose. All right, so for my task, I unfortunately wasn't able to get as much work as done as I'd like to, just because I, I ran into some sudden inconveniences throughout the spring break. And first, for the first couple of days of my, of my work, I was spending more time trying to get the complete grasp of, grasp of GitHub you know, through the com command line. And, and that's what happened. So I just ran into an inconvenience, which unfortunately took up a, try, a huge chunk of my time throughout the spring break, so. Okay. Yeah. Mm, yeah, all right. Now let's take a look at this tiger board. So, uh, okay, another thing that I did was user story 44, which was display a version and build number, which you can just see at the bottom left corner. Oh, I'm seeing the Miranda right now. There it is, okay. Okay. I, um, uh, uh, user story 45, that's what Donald uh, and Jose were, were talking about, like making the back end classes. Uh, uh, number 52, uh, that's what uh, Joseph was working on. Uh, uh, number, four, number 53 was a uh, place for us to do unit tests. This, this, and uh, uh, as you can see, uh, Donald put his and needs info. Uh, and lastly, um, uh, uh, number 55 is the map, uh, uh, which you can see here. And, the, and yeah, uh, so uh, we're starting to add uh, functionality to, to the uh, program for bus scheduling. And uh, uh, there's a little bit of business value increase, is, I believe, if so, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, We'll continue working on this uh, next sprint. So thanks for watching. Yeah, so not an unadulterated success, but as we can see, this is more and more a prototype. This is clearly looking like we've got a bus scheduler on our hands. Uh, yeah, thank you very much.